Welcome to this brief overview of IBM Rational Doors objects. In this presentation, we will explore the objects in a formal module, including the information they contain, how to create, modify, and delete them. In Rational Doors, a requirements document is represented in a formal module. A formal module is a collection of objects. These objects can represent headings, subheadings, information, and requirements. Objects can contain images, URLs, OLEs, and basically anything that a computer can support. Each object has a unique identifier, an absolute number identifying it. This number is associated to an object and can never be reused, even if the object is deleted. The information contained in the object is stored in attributes. An object has lots of different attributes, but additional ones can be added as needed. Some attributes are generated by the system and other attributes can be edited. To learn more about this, let's look at the properties of the object. Here we see the most common attributes, which are the heading, short text, and object text attributes. In the Attributes tab, we see lots of different attributes. The eyeglasses icon indicates a read-only attribute that is generated by the system. An example of this is the absolute number we already talked about. Other attributes are custom attributes that you can edit. Notice that we are looking at the properties of a heading. What makes this object a heading is the fact that it contains text in the object heading attribute. A text object contains text in the object text attribute. Notice that the object can transform from a heading to text when I move the text from the heading attribute to the text attribute. The object can be a heading or text, depending on which of these two attributes is filled. When specifying the object, be sure that an object is either a heading object or a text object. Do not include both. Rational doors will allow it, but it is not a good practice. Did you notice the change bar? The change bar indicates the status of the object. In this case, the red indicates that the object has been changed, but the module has not been saved. Notice that the change of the object is also tracked in the history. If the object was linked, the Links tab would show the relevant links. Notice that every object has a specific URL. This URL can be used to reference the object and access it from other tools, providing one has the appropriate access rights. In Rational Doors, access rights can be assigned down to the object. The Access tab can be used to show who has access and what kind of access they have. You can edit an object directly from the properties, like we just saw, or you can edit the object directly from the view. For example, you can swap the object heading and text attributes by clicking this button, or you can double click on the object and edit the object in line. By double-clicking, you can also edit all the editable attributes that are visible in the view. To create an object, select Insert Object. When the object gets created, you get an indication of the level this object is going to be in the module hierarchy. Module hierarchy is above the scope of this demo, but it is very important 
to properly structure a formal module. Since most objects are text and not headings, when you start typing, you will automatically be editing the text property of the object. If you wanted to edit the heading, you could double click on the object prior to typing. There are other shortcuts too. For example, to edit the object heading, just press Ctrl H or to edit the object text, just press Ctrl T. To delete the object, select it and press delete. The object has been deleted but remains in the module until it is purged by someone with the appropriate access rights. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.